good morning, good morning, Dr. Gary on the road back in New Jersey. Just got back from New Mexico. We are dental practice brokers nationwide. Today's topic is going to be how do you really know the true inside story with various DSOs? I'll tell you what our experiences are. Anyway, so we are now doing the dental practice brokerage nationwide for 12 years. We have 10 employees. We're in 25 states. The information you're about to hear is only for entertainment purposes. It's not for legal or business advice. You can reach us at 201-663-0935. And our website is Dental practice guide.com so call us anytime if you are a larger practice and thinking about selling to the DSOs we simply have information that is not in the public domain and we can help you they will pay our commission I get the same commission from matter what DSO we work with I don't have a favorite DSO I want to choose the right DSO for you they'll pay my commission certain instances I can get your legal fees reimbursed at successful closing based on certain criteria. But call us. We'll talk to you about it. So anyway, um, let's talk about these DSOs. I do work with them, and, and I work with a number of them. And I think uh, the ones I work with, I'm very comfortable with. They're honorable. They run a very tight business. I think they're a uh, pleasure to work with. And they're no nonsense. I mean, they are good to work with. They do what they say, and they uh, deliver on that. Uh, there's others that are questionable. Now, you want to find out what the inside story is on a DSO that you're about to work with. Well, you can't rely on some kind of publication. First of all, forget that, because it's like a glorified newsletter. This whole DSO thing is in a dynamic, evolving, changing uh, app business atmosphere. So one DSO may be great one year, but then they get bought out by somebody else, and then the parent company doesn't have the same philosophy or style. So it, it could be different. Secondly, I just got a bulletin on a one DSO that has just grown by acquiring X number of new uh, practices and they have great future plan. Meanwhile, this DSO was working with one of my other clients, and they had a lot of trouble working with the DSO, a lot of switch-ups, when what they promoted when it came down to contract was completely different. And the buyer is getting away from them. You don't know anything about a DSO, I found, until you are now currently negotiating a contract with them. That's when you know. You're in the middle of negotiations of a contract. That's when you'll really find out, or possibly your letter of intent, which is non-binding. That's when you're going to find out. We are in day-to-day -day negotiations with these DSOs. We have our sellers that will get back to us if the DSO is not providing and promoting and sharing the information that they had before they you know, tried to buy it. Um, but as they go into contract, things will change. What they promised one day is not the same as what's going into the contract. So this all makes a big difference. And we're on the ground floor of this. We're not trying to toot our horn, but we're there. We're at the bottom line. We're at the ground level. We are the infantry. We're the reporter from the infantry calling from the front lines. We're the cop on the beat telling you what's really going on on the street. We see it day to day. And right now, there's one company, and we're not going to name names. I don't think that's fair. We don't do that. We're nonpartisan. We are independent. We, are, we cannot have strategic partners with vertical integration, whatever names they use. I don't know what they use now. But we don't have strategic partners. We have a number of professional DSOs we do work with that we're comfortable with. We get the same commission from them all. 
We don't have any specific banks we work with. We have a number of banks we prefer because we know they deliver, but we don't have one specific bank we refer to all the time. We want the best that is for you, the best that's going to closing. I only know, getting back to the DSOs, who's a qualified DSO, who's on their game, who's a pleasure to work with right now as I see them negotiate with my current clients. That's what I know. I see the negotiations going on. I see the back and forth. I hear it from the attorneys. I know exactly what's going on. Now, one DSO may have been great last year, but then they had a change of management, and it's not the same DSO. It's not the same team anymore, and it could be a nightmare. A previous, you know, it's important to speak to doctors that have uh, sold to another DSO and get their feedback, but their experiences may be a year or two years old. Management may have changed, and the style of operation could be different. Whereas in the past, the DSO didn't brand the company, didn't bring all their signs in. Now they're doing it. So there's been a shift, and you've got to keep up with these shifts. You've got to keep up with these changes. That's what I think we can provide you. So you don't know a DSO until you're in negotiations with them. And sometimes they'll do anything to get through the closing, and then after the closing, things will change. So you've got to keep, really got to keep your guard up. That's what we're here to help you with. We are on the cutting edge. We are at the front lines. We are the cop of the beat. We will help you with this information. But you won't know a DSO until you're in direct negotiations, attorney to attorney. That's when you're really going to know. Anyway, great talking to you guys. We have many, many more um, YouTubes coming out. Uh, we're excited. As I've told you, we hired an operations director. We hired a, a marketing director. We now have five acquisition people trying to find practices nationwide. We are excited, so come ride with us. There you go. Bye now.